Vaping is not a safe alternative for youth. Over the last several years, Rockland Unified Schools Superintendent Roger Stock says the use of e-cigarettes made by the company Juul has skyrocketed among his middle and high school students. There really isn't a specific type of student. It's such a widespread usage that it really could be students that are involved in athletics, excel in academics, uh, and that's really their big concern. The Rockland Unified School District is about to join the list of more than 10 other Cal California school district suing Jewel Labs. Davis Joint Unified Schools filed its lawsuit yesterday. The increase in the use in the epidemic was a deliberate action by a company and then to have really those impacts fall on an underfunded public education system is just unconscionable and needs to be addressed. Last November, California's Attorney General sued the nation's biggest e-cigarette maker, saying Juul targeted teens with its marketing campaigns. I think it sometimes takes some time for local school districts to understand that this isn't just a problem in their district. This is a nationwide epidemic. John Fisk is one of the attorneys representing the school district's filing lawsuits, including Rockland and Davis. He says the goal is to stop Juul from marketing to students require the company to warn about the dangers of vaping and pay back taxpayers and school districts. He argues it costs them money when they have to take time to deal with the impacts of vaping instead of teaching the students what they should be learning. We are going to be prepared to try these cases. Uh, and if Jewel would like to sit down and talk about resolution, we're happy to do that as well. It's an action Superintendent Roger Stock says needs to happen now. And it was looking whether you're a large district like Los Angeles or a district like Rockland that we all no matter where we're at in the state need to stand up together and, and take a stand against this. Rockland Unified is sent to file its lawsuit in Placer County Superior Court on Monday. In Rockland, Emily Maha, KCRA 3 News.